Hi, Pet Fair Hi, Pet Parents. Hello, everybody. This is Soumya from Pet Fair India, your host for today, and we are here with a really special guest, uh, Minisha Lamba, uh, a popular Bollywood actress who I have grown up watching and dancing to your famous tunes. I still remember, you know, dancing to your Ahista Ahista, which is such a you know feel good song. And with that, Minisha, we uh, welcome you to the live chat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's really, really good uh, fun doing this because uh, I love talking about my dogs and about having dogs in general and all of that. So this is nice. But nice. so we're gonna talk a lot about your dogs today. I'm sure a lot of people want to know here everything about Zoe and Chloe. Is, is that right? Uh, Zoe <laughs> yeah. And Zoe are your yeah. two dogs, two super yes. adorable pets. Uh, can yes. you show them to us? Can you uh, like? Okay, they are chilling on the bed. So their favorite place to chill is. Okay, let me just move the laptop. Who's getting them out here is going to like like. So, I'm sitting in my room, and uh, this is Chloe Hi, on my Chloe. bed, and that is Zoe. Very cute. <laughs> Hi, so, Zoe. So the thing is that they love sitting on really soft, soft stuff. So pillows. Okay. Like they're generally okay. sleeping on a pillow, so on my head, on the pillow. So the pillow next to me is for them. Then if a duvet is like really soft and all, they like like going and like just like sinking into that. So that's what they generally like to do, like sink that's into so soft cool. stuff. They just they just love sitting on someone's like their parents' head, isn't it? Like that's like the best pillow. No, no, no. The pillow is the best pillow. Oh, okay. my head happens to be on it because okay. I'm also sleeping on the pillow. That's so that nice. is the thing. Yeah, in the middle of the so, night, I'm waking up because they're fighting for space and all of that, and I'm like, oh God, please! So then I set up pillows all over me. I mean, there are pillows there, but uh, yeah, I get woken up in the middle of the night like this. That's cute. So Chloe is eight years old, and Zoe is all of three. Am I right? Five now. Yeah. Five. 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 Oh, Zoe! I, I got now. the age wrong. I got the age wrong. I forgot okay. when I had got her, because I had actually got her as a present for my mom. So I forgot oh. uh, when I got her. Yeah, yeah. One Nana. second. Yeah. Hmm. So people who are joining us now, we are here with Minisha, and you know a lot of people are joining uh, uh, in right now to know more about your life, not just as a Bollywood actress and a celebrity, but also your life as a pet parent. And you know, um, how how are you spending? Like it's lockdown going on, and uh, how are you spending your days during the lockdown? Do you spend most of the time at home with your pets? Is it that? Is that how? It yeah, is? because I mean that's the whole point of lockdown, right? I mean, there's no work, work that's happening as such, and uh, yeah. I'm just trying to get the center of this. There's no like work, work happening as such. So just like chilling at home, uh, doing stuff like that. Uh, pets are very happy. They're rejoiced because you're at home and uh, you're right. not going out anywhere. They can see you 24 hours a day. So yeah, they are happy with that. They're very that's happy with that. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, and uh, you know, can you tell us something more about these two cuties? Like, where did you get them? When did you get them? And when you decided to get them, you know, how has your life changed from, you know, before having them and now that they've entered your life? So I've always had dogs and uh, I have a dog type also. I like them small and I like them furry and all that. So this is my dog type, which I like really like and all of that. Okay. And uh, they fit that completely. Um, Chloe, I got her from Bangkok from someone who got her for me because she was a particular breed that I wanted. And that was a okay. while back. I don't think you can now. It's very difficult to do that now. But uh, okay. that's that's where I got her from. So she's a multi poo. She's a mix between a Maltese and uh, a poodle. So that is a breed oh. I didn't even know existed like, until. Yeah, even uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is uh, that is a breed. So there are a lot of these hybrid breeds that people do. You know, I I've yeah. seen a friend of mine that has a golden doodle, which is a, a mix of a poodle and a uh, labrador oh okay that would yeah be... yeah golden doodle yeah gold no golden retriever not labrador golden retriever so okay. golden retriever and poodle so it's called a golden doodle it's a golden doodle, doodle. It's called a golden okay. doodle and he's big huh? they're big mostly they're big okay. big and okay. shiny and hairy and all and very cute and loving and all of that so a lot of breeds like this, which I have been like crossbred and made and all that. And uh, Zoe is a Shih Tzu. Zoe is a Shih Tzu. Right. Zoe is okay. a Shih Tzu. 
yeah. and like how how is it now you know what what's the difference between you know your life uh, before you had them and now that you have them as your pets around you so i have always been someone who's had a pet for me having a pet has been very important my previous uh, girl that i had before this was called misty and mm-hmm. she was with me for 16 years so okay. half my life like more than half my adult life at that point she was with me more than half my adult life oh okay you know so that was a huge influence and you know like a pet that you have at home and all that so it was i i i think i'll always have pets they keep me happy uh they just keep me happy yeah that's true so misty was your first pet is it or uh, yes. did you have a before misty also uh we had but i was too young then to remember okay so, so remember. misty was the pet that i was uh, i remembered yeah okay that's nice so people who are joining us now we are here with minisha lamba if you have any questions for her as a pet parent as uh, you know just type in your queries in the comment section and we'll have her answer those so uh, you know let's talk about zoe uh, zoe is okay. the younger one right yeah. so yeah. what is zoe's uh, personality like you know is she uh the one that uh follows you or chloe around or is she more like you know her own individual aloof introvert what is zoe like? so so they both follow me around all the time but yes zoe more so yeah okay. now 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 chloe is relaxed she's like okay fine now i know that you're going to the kitchen i know you're going here i know you'll be back in 5 minutes she knows what is right. a kitchen run and what is like me going to the other room and sitting but okay. zoe doesn't know she like even if you're going for the kitchen run i'll jump off the bed and come and okay. see what you're doing you know so so it's like fomo where you doing what are you doing and you know all of that just like most dogs are uh yeah. so she's younger this time i'm seeing now that uh, she's kind of low on energy doesn't play as much as she used to so i guess she's like 5 years old and all that so i'm just missing the yeah. whole puppy phase of hers you know when they just like always playing and uh, all of that so i guess this lockdown they've gotten a bit lazy little bit lazy okay. also you know cuz haven't been able to take them out uh, oh, that much yeah yeah that yeah, yeah, would be and uh, chloe how is she as an elder older sibling like is she the is she, does she boss zoe around or is she like protective uh, so they love each other they love playing with each other and uh, chloe is the alpha most of the time when they play and zoe loves being the omega i guess that's the right word uh-huh. right omega uh <laughs> she knows so when rumble and tumble and play and all of that so then yeah. zoe is most of the time she's at the bottom and she lets uh-huh. chloe like be on top and you know be the dominant one then sometimes when she wants to be the dominant one she does it and chloe lets her so you know they take their turns uh, doing that oh okay so and uh, and and chloe loves other dogs oh my god like taking her to the vet is a treat for her because it means she's going to meet all dogs out there and she loves going to the vet whenever we go down she's always you know she's friends with all the you know dogs in the building she wants to go meet everyone kiss everyone play with everyone she zoe doesn't like other dogs she only loves chloe oh okay she loves chloe but then she doesn't like other uh, dogs this is something like very strange which i've not been able to understand like how or why or you know yeah. what yeah. but uh, that's the case that's interesting them. because you know a lot of dogs like uh, when they sense that they are going to the vet they just like hide under the table or something no like. no 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 for chloe it's like wow it's like um, you know going to the no. zoo she's like <laughs> wow outing how many friends am i going to meet you know so whatever the treatment is if she has to get an injection and all again doesn't cry at all i mean injection this and that she barely cries but then she's happy after she's meeting other dogs so she's like okay fine i guess that was worth it as long as uh, i get to meet other dogs nice that's yeah nice. that's yeah. nice and uh, uh, what what about both are they protective of you like you know when your friends or your family they come over or you know if someone new comes over for that matter in the house like no no, no. they are very are friendly they- they're very friendly very loving dogs uh now they don't jump on everyone that comes home earlier to yeah you know they would just like jump on everyone and you know how people in india people even with a bite sized dog like them people are scared so i'd tell them listen yeah. listen mat chilao i would like people hello mat chilao wo dar jayega mera kutta please Haan. you know then they get embarrassed and also that's what i say <laughs> don't scare my dog by screaming <laughs> so, right. yeah that's what i do to people <laughs> that's fine that's, that was big fun though <laughs> yeah 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 
देखो आपने क्या किया अच्छा देखो आपने क्या किया मेरा बेचारा कुत्ता भी डर के मतलब कोने में बैठ गया अभी मुझे मनाना पड़ेगा मतलब क्यों ऐसे आप मतलब डर रहे हो वो बस आपको आके हाय बोल रही है क्या बुरा किया उसने to imagine like how scared she is getting seeing that reaction because she doesn't understand it and she's thinking oh my god what did i do wrong and she's like uh-huh. just hiding away because she thinks that she's done something wrong right so, so yeah they are they might not be protective of you but you definitely are like super protective of them yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. like talking about that, you know, like the you like kind of schooling people. So, like, uh, has it ever happened that, uh, you know, you know somebody or like you're working with someone in your shoots or otherwise, and the, have you managed to convert somebody from like a non-dog lover to a dog lover just because of? Yes, you? yes, yes, yeah. yes. So my best friend. Can you tell friend. us a few incidents? So, so, few? so my very best friend. Uh, her name is Ashi. Okay. There was a point where she, you know, she used to be petrified of dogs because she used to have she had a very bad experience when she was younger. Okay. So fair enough, and uh, yeah. she would then, uh, you know, uh, not come to my house. She would say, "Listen, uh, uh, your dogs want to jump on me when I come." And that time, I had Misty, and Misty okay. was, you know, she used to jump this and that. I used to be like, "Listen, babe, that's not going to happen. I'm not putting okay. my dog in the other room because she's going to hear the doorbell." she's going to yeah. um uh know that somebody's come i'm having fun outside she's going to be like in the room wondering why is she there even she wants to come and meet you and say hi hello and you know give you a kiss and all of that so i'm like i'm not doing that to her if you you are scared of dogs and please don't come to my house you know and as my best friend she was like so offended at mini you're you're doing this to me over a dog i said this is it you know and she, we used to live right next to each other so we were always in each other's houses so for her suddenly not to come to my house was like very weird so mm-hmm. finally then she would come to my house and she got over her fear of dogs so much so that now mm-hmm. she has a dog of her own that goes with her to her own office that was oh. the best boy at her wedding he came with his own tuxedo and everything and you know walked the aisle and all with her and she was oh. like i can't imagine i ever told you to lock your dog in a room i said yes i'm so glad that you're over it and you have your own dog now so yeah my my pets have helped people uh, get over their fear of dogs only because i've been so adamant i've been like yeah. ana to aao nahi aana to mat aao my dog is not getting cleaned up or you know yeah and and lot of you know as an actor you have lot of waitings at home also there are people who come home because they you know they like come home and then mm. they scared of dogs. i said listen listen my dogs won't go do anything to you chill and then they see the dogs you know then the dog my, my she will jump next to me and on the meeting she'll sit next to me only like this then they're watching her they're like oh she's looking like a doll i said yeah come touch her she's just like adorable so people slowly slowly get over their fear of uh, you know dogs around my dogs yeah but that must have made you feel so proud no like yeah uh, yeah yeah it does it does make me feel proud any co-worker any co-actor anybody that you were able to convert into a dog lover also apart from your best friend uh Or- they have been co-workers yes they have been co-workers yeah. who had to come home who had no choice so like if you have fittings or if you're doing rehearsals yeah. and you're doing it at home uh yeah. like for a play that i was doing uh last to last year an english play okay. so okay. we did a lot of my initial rehearsals at home because we didn't require a space you know required just basic uh, theater lessons and classes and all of that so that we did at home so right. the assistant director she was really scared of dogs she was like mummy i'm not coming home i said too bad yeah. then where are we going to rehearse so she also got over her fear of uh, dogs okay not every okay. dog like small dogs yeah but like yeah yeah but that's a start i mean yeah, that's, you know, that's always a start That that's nice. That's cool. So, um, you know, uh, uh, you are protective of your dogs. That's pretty clear. Uh, are you like a taskmaster dog mommy? Like, do you kind of keep a strict check on them in terms of you know their schedule, in terms of their food routine, walks, or or are you more like a chill parent that you know you do you See, do I, you I, and I'm gonna do me? Like, yeah, no, no, I'm pretty chilled. Uh, it's just their walking schedule is important. walking schedule and food as and when they are hungry because a lot of times they are not hungry and they don't eat food right yeah. 
Right. So then their food is kept, just these two things mainly. Others, I'm very chill. They can do whatever they want, climb on the bed, sleep with me, whatever they want to do goes. Right, right, of course. That sounds nice. Okay, so, you know, we were talking before and you told me that they uh, love to cuddle, uh, especially Chloe, but Zoe sort of just follows you around. So do your pets, like, I, I know you said that they climb uh, on your bed with you. So do they sleep with you on your bed every day? Yeah, 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 of course. And the problem is, if I end up sleeping late, even they don't want to get up. If someone comes to, you know, take them out for a walk or even give them food, they don't want to have food. They start growling at whoever comes to take them. You know, okay. so if I'm sleeping late till like 10 30, they also don't want to get up and go anywhere. They are also sleeping late. Forget morning walk, forget food. But so I also want to sleep with mama. So I tell you know? who don't climb out of the bed, they'll they stay don't get out of bed. No, they don't get out of bed. <laughs> Quite pampered, nice. But they are adorable. <laughs> and and uh, uh, how, how do you manage to give them? all the cuddle time that they might miss out on if you're not at home or you know if, if Amit's your hectic yeah schedule. now that 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 ends up happening you know you also feel guilty you yeah. miss your pet and all that but then the thing is you know that you're going to go back home and you're going to see them and then they're going to get all the cuddle time possible oh. you know nice. yeah that's good so uh, when you're not in town, like how do they react? Like someone, someone would be around. So, you know, how do they react? When yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know they miss me because I'm told, you know, that they miss you and all of that. And, you know, so obviously I think any pet will miss their parent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So they're not like the ones who just like forget that. Okay. You know. About not, yet, no, not yet. No. Not yet. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. If the if the gap is becomes like a year, two years, or three years that you don't see them, maybe then they'll forget you. Mm -hmm. you know? Right. Otherwise not. So yeah, possibly. I think so. Otherwise and, not. Yeah. And how do you deal with missing them, like on a daily basis? So I've I've become I've become better with that now. Earlier, I used to really, really, really uh, miss. But uh, now I've become really better at compartmentalizing. It used to be very difficult okay. for me earlier. Okay. But, so uh, compartmentalizing yeah. as in like, can you elaborate? Knowing that if I'm not around them, I can't be around them right now, then I can't be around them right now. There's no point in me uh, being upset over something that is not in my control. You know, I'd rather than do the work that I'm doing right now, enjoy that, be in the now. Right. Rather than uh, be missing something I know that I can't have right now. Mm -hmm. So I've learned like gears in my head have shifted to just make me more peaceful about it. Right, right. Because, uh, you know, that's what uh, they say that uh, dogs live in the present. So, you know, why should yeah. we? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have an interesting question here from Madhu. She says, uh, do you think video calling pets are helpful? I don't want my friend's pet to forget me. Uh, so I've call? tried, I've tried that, but my dogs don't recognize me on the phone. They uh -huh. don't recognize on the video. So I've tried that with them uh, when they're at my parents to video call. They don't uh, uh, miss. And then, um, then I say, okay, fine, let it be. Because if they hear my voice on the phone, they'll be like, okay, I can hear her, but where is she? That may really confuse them. So I think that uh, I, I found the best thing to do is uh, just to build resilience myself. And you know that they are like with people who are loved and, you know, who love them and take care of them and all. So that's that's a blessing. You totally sound like a seasoned pet parent who just knows I think how so. to go about it. <laughs> I think nice. so, try. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Okay, we'll take a couple of more audience questions uh charu datta here is asking how do you manage to keep them indoors because my lab four months old absolutely loves to go outside and play but the lockdown is getting him bored as we can't take him out much so yeah see it? he is four months of course he's jumpy he's excited he's going to want to go out it's going to be very difficult for him at that age you know because he's going to be like i don't understand why i'm not able to jump and go out so yeah. uh, it is difficult yes if it's a new puppy but uh, luckily anyway for three months he has to be home right now until all his vaccinations are done um, so yeah. if you can take him down for like little, little walks early in the morning, maybe just twice a day when there's very little uh, crowd down early in the morning or late at night, maybe that should work, you know, if you can do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that sounds like a good suggestion. Uh, Anushka is asking, so talking about indoor, playing indoor, like what kind of, she wants to know what kind of games do you play with your dogs, indoor or outdoors, like what kind of? Uh, they, they don't play any games uh, as such. I do like chasing games with them. So either I chase one and then they start chasing each other or basically just activate them and galvanize them to play with each other. So I, they enjoy playing with each other more than playing with me now. So ever since Zoe has come, they enjoy yeah. playing with each other because they jump on each other, rumble and tumble. The only one thing that I've made sure is that they should know whenever this rumble and tumbling play is happening, it has to always happen on the bed. So that they don't, you know, knock their knees and they don't knock their head on the hard floor because they get very rough when they play with each other. So it should all all happen on the bed. So then they can do the WWF as much as they want. Then it's not a problem. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. So like, uh, have they did they ever manage to hurt each other or like they just? No, uh, just... no. So they so they bite each other all the time when they play. You can hear growling. You can hear this and that. So initially, when they used to first do it, I used to get very worried because I used to not know how hard they were biting each other. So in the yeah. middle of their yeah. biting and rumbling and tumbling and all, I put my hand right in between where their mouths are to see how hard they are biting each other because they'll inadvertently bite me also. And I right, saw right. that, oh my God, they were just so gently touching each other with their mouth. It looked rough, but it was very gentle. It is just basically like, yeah. oh, okay, I won this point, you know, to show so that, uh, okay. you know, but they were just like really, right. really, really um, gentle with each other that way. And I was like pleasantly surprised that, you know, so I'm not worried. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the more more of growling maybe that made it. Yeah, look more of growling and 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 uh, that made it look aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. So you know, do they like Chloe and Zoe? Do they bring in a routine for you also? Because uh, you know, most pet parents, as we have also noticed, uh, you know, they're they're very early risers. They become early risers and they go to sleep, go to bed early because they have to take their dogs out for a walk and all. So there's like this. Uh, disciplinary routine that is brought in their lives, uh, you know, by their dog. So, uh, is it the same case for you? Is it the same about your? Oh uh, no, because I have someone before the lockdown that uh, used to come and take them for walks. But now that the lockdown and all has been in place, I do that myself. Uh, they go down lesser now because of all the social distancing norms and all of that. Uh, so yeah, their walks also have become less right now. Okay, okay. All right. And uh, so otherwise you had a walker, but right uh, these days you were only taking out, taking them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, and yeah. when you take them out for walks, like do you keep them on a leash or like are you just like walking them? Most of the times they're on a leash. Uh, right now I'm at my parents' house. So this is a very big compound with uh, very little, uh, few people in this building. Okay. So I take them without a leash because then they just run about and do whatever they want. And they know how to come back home. So Zoe to Chipko, she's never out of my sight. She makes sure that I'm always like in her sight. And if I tell her, Zoe, come on, let's go home. She follows me and come. And then Chloe sees, okay, she's not here. Then Chloe knows how to come back home. She comes back. And she's standing outside the door like that. And I'm like, ah, then I open the door. She comes in. <laughs> uh -huh, that's nice. So do you like leave them in the compound and come back? And do they come, come back like at home? Yeah, so, so Zoe comes back immediately with me and now Chloe has also become really good. Like she sees that I've gone. Like I tell her that I've gone. I say, Chloe, bye. I'm going home. So she understands. Mm -hmm. And then in five minutes, she's out and she comes back herself. Nice. That's so awesome. yeah. That's so, you know, a lot of people would want to know you. You're a seasoned pet parent. You know, like uh, I can, like you can, we, we can sense how much experience you have with pet parenting now. So, what are your trip tips to people who, um, uh, you know, are who are very like who want to walk their dogs without the leash but are not able to handle them? Like, how do you, you have to? No, no, you have to train your dog. Your dog has to be trained. My dog can also only do it out here. And even in Bombay, when I do it, I do it very late at night, take them without a leash when there's absolutely no car movement in the compound of the building. Yeah. You know, you can't take them down all the time because uh, uh, they don't have a sense of how to react if a car is just coming. Yeah. So I would advise not to do it until you absolutely trust your pet. Uh, right. not to do it at all, uh, get a long leash, 
um and two things that i feel very strongly about with dogs like you know unless your dog is a breed like um uh, a guard dog you know dogs like um, let's say a rottweiler or, or a, not even german shepherds a lot of german shepherds i've seen are very gentle basically like a rottweiler or something or mm. a pitbull um mm. you don't need a neck uh leash yeah. for them i i or every time i see someone who have uh, a leash a collar around the neck for their dog i tell them you know this breed doesn't require it you know you can put a chest harness around them and hold them like that because like only keep a collar neck collar for a dog that you need to control by choking them if they end up being a danger to others and yeah. you need to suddenly control them right yeah. and that's yeah. not the case with 90% of dogs right 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 so right. like i'm a big advocate of a chest harness and that's what i always tell everyone like one chest harness right. chest harness chest harness always i just like go on telling everyone and yeah. uh, the number two thing is female dogs please keep female dogs don't like be mentally uh, biased against keeping a female dog yeah. i've always had female dogs and i will always only keep female dogs yeah i think a lot of people um, uh, you know have the concern of keeping uh, not keeping female dogs because of their periods and all of that what do you so a lot of people are under the misconception that dogs get their period every month they do not dogs yeah. get their period once in 6 months and that do only like for 10 days 8 days they will bleed little 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 and you will not even know that they've got their period Right. so that is a huge uh, myth that people have and because of that they don't keep dogs and they're just missing out on having an amazing lovely female at home yeah two very very important and interesting points reiterated by you minisha like i hope people who are watching this uh, they really think about this because i think that you know you're right people have that misconception about female. yeah yeah so, yeah so you know i um, i like when i was researching a lot uh, reading up so they say that uh, even for otherwise like not just guard dogs like chest harness for adult dogs are uh, more preferable but puppies they say that should definitely be a neck collar no matter what breed because um uh, that's that's what uh, they are in like inherently used to like the mother picks up uh, the uh, their puppy like from the neck so that is the sensation that they are used to apparently that uh, um you know if if someone's like pulling when they are a puppy if someone's pulling them by the neck that means that you know the, just like pulling the by the goes, neck or by the nape of the neck at the back here they get picked yeah, up like by the, the back collar. yeah like so basically where the collar's leash is right like the same okay. area like that part so i think no, like maybe, i am completely against like neck collars completely yeah. like completely against like if i if it was up to me i would like have them banned you don't need one like just you know chest harness is perf- perfectly fine yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 that works let's take up a couple of questions from yeah. the audience so um someone's asking how do you uh, how do your dogs celebrate their birthdays do they have their friends who come to attend the party like do, do you celebrate so them so it's a party for them every day for chloe though it's a party every day every day she goes she meets her dogs her friends whoever she uh, sees so for her it's a party all the time every meal she wants to eat what we are eating she's jumping on the table and she is like please feed me so usko little 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 karke thoda thoda uh, little little whatever she you know can eat because she's kind of uh, uh, allergic also she can't eat like a lot of things but she wants to eat everything दिल में वो तलब है कि मैं सब चीज खाऊं 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 बट बॉडी कान डाइजेस्ट लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग यू नो सो इट कैन स्क्रैचिंग सो दैट इज द कांस्टेंट थिंग इन हर लाइफ वो थिंग बट शी लव्स ईटिंग व्हेन आर द बर्थडे जोई एंड क्लोई जोई इज कमिंग अप इन अगस्त एंड क्लोई इन नवंबर सो जोई इज गोना बी 5 नाउ और 6 like you know uh she's going to turn 5 yeah she's going to turn 5 right yeah okay yeah, so yeah, august yeah. november so sort of winter babies like winter babies hmm. winter babies nice. and uh do you dress, uh, fahad is asking do you dress them up in costumes or chloe like, hates you know? it 
Chloe hates okay. costumes even when she comes back from her thing they'll put two ribbons out here she'll be like then she like a ribbon phad gaya one is like gone out here one little is sticking from a string from a rubber band and it's still sticking out there and she shakes her head and she's like okay that's better you know she's a little uh-huh. gundi you know okay. and she looks sweet and all but she's a gundi girl she's like okay fine get all these ribbons off now i'm ready to go chase some and then she'll go chase anything like if it's a butterfly if it's a squirrel if it's a rat also she wants to go chase it like down in the compound oh. and everything <laughs> so yeah 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 she is yeah nice nice so uh, so i hear that uh, you know you've got a small pool for them where they splash around when they feel hot yeah. so where, where did you get it and uh, you know i got it online you... from amazon it's actually a pool for oh, human oh. beings for okay. uh, uh, children between the ages of like 3 and above okay like a small okay. little small family pool um, okay. i got it because uh, chloe has put on a lot of weight in this okay. lockdown Okay. and uh, i thought that instead of having her run a lot how much will she run i didn't want it to be any you know strain on her knees so i got a pool for her where i will hold her in the pool and she can you know do the dog paddle for 10 minutes oh. every day twice a day you know cuz the pool is, is not a, very is deep is that a form of exercise is that like a form basically of basically swimming right basically got swimming it. for her except huh. i don't have access to a dog pool So I got something small where I'll hold her in it, and she'll just dog paddle like this in the water, without. Right. Uh, so then that's going to be no strain on her knees. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So is that is, does this the, will this help in some amount of weight loss? Is it? I hope so. Yeah. The 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 process is on, but her working out means I also have to work out with her and hold <laughs> her in the pool slightly above, uh, uh, you know, until her face, you know, until she doesn't reach the bottom. And you know, like this, yeah. so abroad, like if you go to New York and all, they have uh, mm-hmm. resistance pools. So if you okay. want to swim in a pool, the pool is six and a half feet long. That is it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pressure pool or resistance pool. So the pool is just six and a half feet long. It's just okay. five feet wide. It's like a huge jacuzzi. Okay. and you are swimming in it okay. because there's a huge resistance water resistance coming this way right. right so you're stationary swimming in a space of 6 and a half feet of water you're not moving it's just because there's so much water resistance coming at you you're moving against the current and mm-hmm. uh, you're exercising without the need of going to a big swimming pool and all of that So I remember that concept only, and I said, "Okay, this car, ye thoda, you know, essay swimming karwa sakte hain." Ah, that that actually sounds interesting. So yeah, has she yeah, like yeah. has she shared any kilos? Has she able to like? No, it just started it right now. Okay. And in the last two three days, it was raining. It was really cold. So then I didn't want to like uh, you know, but she loves it. Once she gets out of the water, she's like yum. Then two three times she came uh-huh. after a walk. She went dive straight into the pool and she like jumped in there, and then she got all wet and then she came out. She was like, "Yeah, I've cooled down now." So like, okay, perfect. This is good for the summer also because we have a pool in this building, and okay. uh, in the summer, Chloe, because we let her off the leash, na. So in the summer, yeah. it's hot. She goes straight and dives into the pool because awesome. it's so hot. So I can only really do one. Fun. Yeah, yeah, and I got a little one for her out here only. Whenever she's hot, she can go dunk herself into that. And it's like so just three I, feet. It's just three feet uh, deep. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna ask you like, does it occupy a lot of space? Because no, 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 no. It doesn't occupy space. It's small. Okay. So yeah. people like pet parents who are watching us, you guys can totally do that. You know, they, they yeah. can just like. Order yeah. it online. Yeah, yeah. Especially in places like Bombay, where swimming swimming pools are not that like uh, in yeah. Delhi and all, we can still have pool parties and stuff for dogs, you know. But like in Mumbai, there's like a lot of dirt. Of, yeah. Um, no, but this was got specially for her exercise, okay. uh, based on the concept of a resistance swimming pool. Except I'm the resistance here, mm-hmm. so yeah, I have to also work hard. But you do uh, take them. You used to take them to gyms, no? Like uh, when you were working out, because I saw this video. Like when... so, that is my building gym. And now, after seeing all those videos, they are not allowed in the gym anymore. <laughs> Why? 
who like somebody complained because obviously there would be like 10 people who would come and be like hey chloe hey zoe so cute so cute and just one person who doesn't like dogs will be like she's bringing dog to the gym Oh, Fair enough, no. yeah. You can't take dogs yeah. to the gym. मैंने चला दिया जितने देर तक चल सकता था. And then when I go to the gym, then others be like, "Yeah, Chloe and Zoe, why are they here?" And then somebody complained. They're like, "Oh no." See, when they go jumping, meeting everybody and all. So yeah, I was like, "No, I can't." Yeah, but the dogs. Yeah. No, I cannot. Is Zoe come here? Zoe. Yeah, can you show them to us where people are? Zoe. Zoe, come here. Zoe. Zoe, just now they become adult dogs. They don't have to listen to mom. They become teenage dogs now. I don't need to listen to you. You're boring. Zoe, come here. Zoe, 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 Zoe. Say hi. We want to say hi to you. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. 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 Her hair got so matted, so all her hair has been cut off. Only little face hair has been left. Oh. Do you oh. you take them out for grooming often? Is it both of them? I know how to cut their hair at home. Oh, superb! Yeah, you... yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to shape their hair at home and cut their hair at home also. So generally they go you... out. Generally okay. they do go out. Yeah, for a proper. But in the lockdown, I've been doing it myself. Super. So, how did you like? Did you just start right away? Did you see some YouTube YouTube tutorials? I saw videos, how... of course. I saw videos online, yeah. of course, but how to shape and all of that, and you know, uh, people in uh, Asia and all do it so well. But then they have, you know, they have curved scissors also. Yeah. They have special curved scissors to you know shape the head and all of that. So it's difficult for us to do because here we don't have those scissors also, no. Right. Right. So scissors Someone... literally curved like this. It's curved, and you just uh-huh. have to like shape it and cut the hair and cut the hair like this, and all. It's very interesting. So you just basically point it in that direction, and it like cuts in a curved manner. Is that yeah, is that what yeah, you... yeah, 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 yeah. That's how they get such precise like curves and all for their did hair. Did you try? It? Did you see if we get it in India also? Like, do we get it online? I don't think so. I haven't tried. I haven't tried actually. No, I haven't tried to see. Maybe we do get them online. You never know. Yeah. Speaking about know. that, Sandeep is uh, saying that Minisha, you can also try pet treadmills for weight loss. There are pet treadmills also. It seems. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> let me let me let me see. Like, how much? See, space constraint is also there, na? No? And uh, the I'm, only reason why I was uh, uh, refraining from making her run was because I didn't want to put uh, pressure too much pressure on her knees. Hmm. Right. You know, so that is the only reason why uh, the pressure swimming like made a lot of sense to me. And plus, it gets to keep her cool, and she's happy after that. She's like cool and happy, yeah. so it's like works. Yeah. yeah. that's nice and like so they go to the pool almost every day so like isn't it like a task for you to like drying them how do you manage to dry them like once they come out of the then they they hair is cut short right now because uh, okay. of the quarantine and everything so they dry like in 5 minutes chloe dries in 5 minutes yeah. so how do you dry them just like a towel dry she has a you... towel yeah towel dry and then uh, uh, the rest she likes to stay a little damp and all of that and then she okay. like prances about the house and all yeah Yeah. Okay. So um now like you know how often like I know right, right now there's lockdown but in general like how often do you take them out for outings because you know you visit pet fair every year and you yeah, know, they go yeah. to it. So uh how how like are there any other outings that you guys do like on a I try and take them out wherever I can like to my friends houses uh drives they love going in the car so for drives um so anywhere where and whenever i go to the pet store i take them also with me because they also like it they can you know all of that so wherever i can i take them nice so uh, there are a lot of pet friendly like uh, obviously like houses as long as like the any house as long as the owner is okay with it is pet friendly yeah, but uh, in terms yeah. of like public spaces there are a lot of places that are opening up as pet friendly and all that even like the existing uh restaurants and eateries and you know other places so do you have like any favorites where uh, in in mumbai or in pune 
uh, you're in pune currently right yeah like, yeah yeah so like in pune have- there used to be one place i forgot the name of the place which was pet friendly and you can take your place and it was beautiful it was like outdoors and it was just lovely you know so when the lockdown gets over definitely we going that going back there you know so they yeah. are very pet friendly i forgot what the place is called where is it? do you remember the area uh no wait let me just text someone and ask them okay hold on let me text is it like that uh, the one with the amphitheater like outside or something like that no one say let me find out so let me see if they reply to my message no problem so what about like what taking them out yeah what about mumbai what any places in mumbai that you uh, definitely take them to uh there are no commercial places honestly which are that pet friendly okay. like maybe one or two you know and uh, zoe loves meeting other dogs chloe uh, sorry chloe loves meeting other dogs zoe doesn't you know so then uh, it's like a constant mm-hmm. just taking care to keep her from the other dogs but then you have to keep a watch on chloe also so that you know she doesn't uh, uh, get bitten she doesn't go to a dog that's also not friendly so yeah yeah it's a proper pet parenting yeah. job yeah and what about like do you take them out like have you taken them out to your sets before like your work hardly 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 so chloe has been to one two sets of mine but uh, that's only for a short while because then uh, she gets really fomo if i'm shooting and she's not able to come in uh-huh. front of me you know come and sit right next to me while i'm shooting so then she gets like why can't i come why can't i come why can't i come and she's getting disturbed and then i'm looking at her getting right. disturbed and i'm also feeling distracted so then afterwards i then you know just like send her home she can't relax then and sit you know if i'm shooting out there she want to come and sit right next to me you know in the frame right of course it's yeah. too funny yeah, yeah. so, so that maybe this is right that character in you know you should write zoe in uh, chloe in for that uh, yeah but then not trained no will not do anything else <laughs> so not trained only so then will not follow instructions want to be in the frame but will not follow any instructions for shooting <laughs> and all of that so then that also becomes a problem huh yeah would you ever uh, like uh, this out of the top of my head like would you ever want to do like a dog centric film like i uh, would movie? love to yeah. love to dog centric film show where you know you're like acting with a pet and all of that i would like love it it would be a joy going to work every day yeah that's so true that's so yeah true. yeah yeah i bet yeah. chloe is going to be chloe and zoe will be like Super jealous when they smell, you know, all the dog, <laughs> new dog no, smell. No, it's not okay with that. She sees other dogs, like smells other dogs on me all the time because I'm always like very friendly with every dog that I meet, wherever I go. So yeah. when I come back, she's always smelling other dogs on me. She's never like angry or this thing. She's like, oh, where did you go? Why? You know, you went and you know, I can't meet them. Basically, that's the thing. Why I wasn't I with you? You know, so you're never jealous. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so uh, Shashank is asking, do you give ice cream or cold treats to your dogs? Is it a good idea to do that if we do it occasionally? Um, so vanilla ice cream is okay to give to your dogs, I believe, um, especially okay. when their stomach is upset. So I think vanilla ice cream you can give your dogs a little bit. So that's all right as a treat. And if you can find sugar-free vanilla ice cream, then all the better. So when I want to give them a treat, also which I know is healthy and good for them, I give them dahi. So then they love dahi. They have dahi. Yeah. Do you do you like freeze any cold treats at home or something? Or is it no, just... no, 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 no. All are normal treats only. So then they love these calcium bones of theirs. There's some by. There's a new brand that I've come across. I don't know where it is. They just love it. You know. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. and apart from like this uh, pool fun and everything uh, during the lockdown uh, you know uh, everyone else a lot of people have taken up new activities have you taken up anything like have you taken up a new activity something no. that you're doing right nothing. now no nothing no new activity as such just keeping my same old activities uh, going on nice So, what does your day look like? Like, you know, every day, like, how does it look like? I wake up. I've started waking up now really early these days. So that's been good fun. Waking up early, 
uh, going for morning walks, brisk morning walks, and all of that. And uh, I'm loving it. You know, by by six thirty seven, I'm feeling wow, I've done with my day because I'm waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, it feels great. It just feels great waking up early in the morning. It just does. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Okay, so um, you know, do you think that your pets will miss you more now after the lockdown is lifted, obviously, and you know, you start going out uh, as usual since? Of course, of course, so of course. Things. Like every pet is going to yeah. be confused. They're going to be like, you know, you were here with us all day long, and now suddenly you're going out and all. So yeah, okay. parents, pets are going to be confused. Like you know, why are you leaving us and going and all? But then have to go out and earn money so that you can yeah. be fed your chicken and kibbles. It doesn't come for free. <laughs> <laughs> your parent has to go out and own it. That's you know, they eat chicken for like, every meal. I don't eat chicken. I eat chicken like maybe once a week or something. You know, ghar pe it's always shakahari khana, and I love it. I love my dal, I love my rajma, chawal, my vegetables. Chicken gets made for them, and they are the ones who are eating chicken every day. So, because uh, they won't touch their food otherwise, if there's no chicken in it. Yeah. So yeah, but like, are you planning to do something about it? Like, like maybe like when you know that okay, from this day onwards, I have to go uh, out. So are you like, are you going to like sort of isolate yourself from them a little bit? Like, are you planning to no, do something? No, not at all. Like, no, no, no. If I have to go out, I have to go out. And when I'm home, to all my time is with them only. So, so yes. But anyway, you take them yes. out with you a lot anyway, right? So sure and wherever I can, yeah, wherever I can. बस ऐसे ही I'm just oh, like that. Yeah. Where are you running and going? <laughs> she chip go and sleep. But when I grab her, she runs away. Very weird. I don't understand this dog psychology. I, I need a dog psychologist to explain this behavior to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we we'll, we we'll, we we'll keep having these sessions, you know. Okay, so Sharika is asking. Uh, this is not very relatable to the session, but she's asking, what is your favorite Netflix movie or series? Are you? Oh, what are you binge uh, I'm currently watching Dark. Uh, what I really enjoyed lately has been Ozark. Mm, okay. I really enjoyed that. And uh, what else have I really enjoyed? Wait, let me see my list. Brr, what have I really, really, really? Uh, so more than Netflix, I think um, uh, Amazon Prime is doing right. some really, really uh, good shows now. Right. uh brooklyn 99 is something that i've really enjoyed watching it's like really oh, good fun i love brooklyn so funny so funny that's the kind of humor i like that's yeah. exactly the my kind of humor uh i've enjoyed watching the criminal series uh okay. so they're four like from different countries united kingdom germany france and all that i've enjoyed watching okay. that uh series and uh the spy with uh, sasha cohen baron is really good and uh, the last zar so that is a docu feature basically okay. it's uh it's a series on the last zar of russia mm -hmm. and it's shot like a documentary and as a feature film okay. it's both like a feature series so it's very interestingly done uh that was nice these and are all prime or are they like netflix Or and Prime. Maybe. This is currently currently Netflix. Messiah on Netflix was a really nice show that I enjoyed watching. Uh, uh, Messiah was really nice, and uh, I'm not telling you the terrible ones, the ones that I absolutely uh -huh. do not like. Yeah. I'm just telling you the nice ones. When they see us, also was really good. That's a show that you must uh, watch. Victim number eight, really really nice show. um yeah basically that was uh, the recent uh, recent list interesting which okay. i can just like get off the top of my list out there 
the yeah. sarkar should note them down <laughs> okay uh, we have a couple of more questions manisha have you taken your pets to shooting place any memories i've already asked you this but some yeah uh answered answer that question uh yeah i have taken them but only no. for photo shoots photo shoots mainly where the environment is controlled you you come here no come here look at you look at you is look there anyone to Hi, Jojo. Hi, Jojo. Hi, Jojo. Hi, Jojo. Jojo, come here. Come here, Jojo. Yeah, anyway, sitting so close. So you're there. Come here and sit. Come. Yeah. Go. 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 Jojo. Jojo. What happened? Where's your sister? Why is she sitting so far away? Call her and come. what is your message so you can take your time with it you know what is your message to people who have been wanting to adopt dogs for a while now and haven't been mm. able to because you know because of the and hectic schedule is like one of the prime reasons they quote yeah, so yeah. you are gracefully managing it with all your commitments so you know what do you have to say to those people that... see i i'm going to tell you very honestly if you think you don't have the time and you can't mm. do it then mm. don't get a pet you know because it's not going to be fair to you it's not going to be fair to the pet because see you can do so many things you can go out watch a movie sit at home watch netflix read a book that for your pet you are the only thing that is there and if you only are not going to be there at home because you're so busy and don't have time to you know uh parent your pet or spend time with them then there's no point right because you have so many things to keep you entertained and and occupied they just mainly have you right okay cool uh, we are uh, i think you know uh, done with the session now so yes. uh, is there any last uh, things that you want to say do you want to show like chloe zoe once again like this yeah chloe. let me get uh, where is yeah. chloe chloe there's your sister babu chloe Actually, basically, the past couple of days she's been running away from Zoe because Zoe has been troubling her a lot, a lot. <laughs> so like see Zoe, Zoe, yeah. So she sees Zoe on the bed, and she's running away. She's like, "I'm staying away because this one is just like troubling me a lot." So that's she's been hiding there. Oh, she's sleep- there. Okay, okay, okay. I'll show you where she is. She's sleeping in the corner down. Hold on. Ah, Chloe. Oh. Okay, so he's going to trouble her. Yeah, he's going to trouble her. Chloe, say hi. Chloe, say hi. She's like, no. She came to trouble me again. (laughs) Chloe, say hi. Disappointed expression that uh, Chloe has right now. Like, you know, why is Zoe? Yeah, Zoe, move. Asha, now you're wagging your tail. Now you're wagging your tail after troubling her. Move. I want to see your sister. I want to show your sister. Cute. Yeah. And very sleepy. Yeah, very sleepy. And this one, yeah, troubling her. Yeah, troubling again. Her. So <laughs> yeah, like she's like sort of annoy, like it's a sibling annoying that she does. Just answer. for the past couple of days, she's like been extra, like naughty and all of that. And and Chloe's like, dude, I cannot handle this. You know, <laughs> she's like literally running away. Other, she's always on the bed. She's never on the floor. Yeah. Always on the bed. Yeah, there she's come out. There she is. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Say hi. Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. So cute. You've yeah, grown really nicely, huh? By the way. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Chloe sits quietly and gets her grooming done. It's Zoe that doesn't allow it. So Zoe is a pain. Does oh. not allow it at all. But Chloe, you tell her sit. She'll sit quietly. She'll wait until you're done. Zoe sounds like a typical younger sibling, you know. Yeah, <laughs> she is the younger sibling. Typical yeah. younger sibling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's awesome. that. 
anyway it was so, fantastic speaking with you yeah same yeah thank you so much manisha for joining us and giving yeah, us sure. an insight on your you know daily life with your pets and it was amazing mm. and a lot of people joined in enjoyed the session a lot and uh, you, you know you were doing amazing as a dog mom to these little puppies thank, thank you, you so thank much. you thank you so much okay bye, -bye. bye. you too